live. We're going oh, live. Yeah? We're, we're started. We're the the, the stream. Oh, is I was live. posing. <laughs> You're posing for what? Well, I thought we were doing the picture again. No, we nailed it the first I didn't time. Didn't like it. We crushed so I it. I thought you would redo it. But... Well, I, I thought you liked the second one I took. Yeah, I thought you looked wonderful. Hello. I was doing the thing where it was going up. That's bad, right? Went down. down. Let's stretch it's down. Good. Would that help if we were down here? Hi. Hello. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Check this out. Got a ring light on this thing. Hi. Welcome to the Sawbones right, right. 2020 Match Day Party. Woo! Uh, we're filming on from the only angle in our home that is not a complete disaster area. Uh, every other inch. That's because we're here. We're here. Well, I go to work. Yes. You go to work, but it's downstairs. Yes. My office is so, And downstairs. our kids are here with us. Always. All the time. They're always here. It's great. It's I'm great. not complaining. I'm loving it. It's wonderful. Send help. Um, <laughs> okay, so why are we here, Sydney? Uh, because it's match day. It is match day. Yes. I assume probably most of the people listening know what that is. Uh because you did it, but if you don't, if you're just curious, if you saw us tweet and we're like, "What is what is, is match that? day?" Uh, match day is the day towards the end of your medical school career when you find out where the magical matching algorithm. It's like the sorting hats, sort of. basically. For uh, <laughs> well, I was going to say for nerds, but it's a little redundant. I am wearing this hat. You are wearing this hat. Uh, you find out where you get to go for residency, uh, and it's sort of based on where you want to go, and then who wants you, and hopefully you can through those Meet through the, in the middle. Yes, through somehow. the magic of math, you can find that perfect connection, that magic. love connection, where you get to go and train to be the kind of doctor you want to be. Uh, because of the uh, uh, unpleasantness, uh, match days across the country have been canceled. Mm -hmm. Well, so, match day isn't canceled. The big parties, yeah, the big celebrations and events and and everything. Now, Sydney, can I talk to you for a second before we get mm -hmm. started? Mm -hmm. You told me you were going to pour your beer in a different. I'm not drinking beer. What are you drinking? It's not beer. It's not beer. <laughs> can you show me the glass you decided to go with? The the what is it? Well, what did that used to say? Life's a beach, maybe. Is that the life's a beach? I thought you were going to go with something a little bit more classic. This is from local uh, bar mm. uh, summit. If you ever come to Huntington, they got a great selection of uh, whiskeys and draft beers. Mm. And these beautiful glasses that you can purchase. If you yeah. ask, didn't steal. If you say, can I buy this? Can I buy this? I love this wine glass. Um, okay. So, uh, so yes, usually on match day, you would have a party, like some sort of like kind of formally cer celebration at your school, probably like we did where you could bring your family or friends or whoever with you and everybody would gather in a room together. And then they handed out all of our envelopes to us. And at the exact same time we would open them and then yeah. hopefully be happy. Hopefully. Yeah. And then they would announce where all of us were going. Right. And then that was, if you would like to, you could follow that with partying type activities. Yes. Perhaps. But, but since those are, are not happening, we're having one for you. Yes. The graduate medical students. You work too hard to not be recognized. Uh, let's just get into it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you got them. Yeah. Wait, I pulled which, them up right oh, here. which end are you starting on? I started at the very, the newest. The most recent. I'm going okay. Is that okay? I think that's okay. Do you want to uh, read them? Uh, I think it would mean more to people if you did. Okay. Well, I mean, I was going to talk about it. Okay. Well, it just mean, it'd be more official if you did. You have the hat and everything. Should I address the hat? I mean, sure, if you want to. It's graduation hat. This is the hat you have to wear when you're a doctor every day. Sydney. They didn't tell you. They don't tell you that to be match. You got to wear it every, every day. day. Yeah, so you didn't put this career. on. She was. She's been wearing. I've been it. wearing it because I'm working in the hospital. You have right to now. wear it to sleep. It's gross under no, there. No, it's so cute though, isn't it? What? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's less cute when you call attention to how cute it is, but it's still cute. I have a picture of my grandparents in it. Yeah. Yeah, That's I nice. took them with me to my graduation. Okay. You don't wear it on match day, but I thought it was a good formal cap for. Uh, so okay, the hat ahead. has been addressed. 
Well, yeah. I just I just thought it was necessary. Let's get in and uh, let's just start congratulating people. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you are a graduating medical student who matched today who has not sent us anything yet and you're watching mm-hmm. this live, you can send to sawbones at maximumfund.org uh, and just put match day in the subject line and we'll we'll get to I'm sure we'll get to everybody. There can't be that many of you. Yeah, uh, it, yeah. If you put it in forever. the comments, we might miss it. Yeah, don't put it in the comments. We're looking at emails too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so first off, Robert Burns, you matched in psychiatry at Case Western University. That's wonderful. Good Congratulations, for you, Robert. And we need more psychiatrists, Robert. So thank you. That's a that's a specialty that we don't have enough of. There's a huge need. Oh, good, excellent. So people going into that is so important. Thank you. Thank good you, luck. Robert. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Next up, a local. Hey. So this is actually from Lizzie. Okay. But she wants to cor- congratulate her boyfriend, uh, Fwad. Fwad. Who has matched at WVU. We're going to forgive you for that. We are Marshall fans. Yes, but you're forgiven. No, but that's still wonderful. The, what, the WVU at Charleston in general surgery, that's not far away at all. Uh, any advice? down the road. Any advice for living in West Virginia? Uh, just get ready for the time of your life. It's the best <clears throat> state of the union. Uh, and you're going to have a wonderful time. I don't know anything that's, I mean, Charleston, just come to Huntington and we'll tell you all the come good to places Huntington. to eat. We've got great places to eat here. There, If you like like rafting and skiing and hiking and rappelling and climbing and all that outdoor stuff that I won't say we do a ton of personally, but if you do, you're close to all of that. Right in the middle so, of it. So like that's West Virginia's superpower. Yeah. And most of the people are really nice. Most people are very nice. Yeah. You're going to love it. And, um, Good luck. Surgery is a tough but worth it. Tough. Residency. Next up. Paige Dahlgren. Mm-hmm. That's right. Paige Dahlgren. Congratulations. You've matched at the University of Minnesota for pediatrics. Woo-hoo, Paige. Oh, and you did that. Hey, she also couples matched. Her partner's doing OBGYN. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's- couples matching. That's a delight. It's cool you can do that. Yeah. I think couples matching is even cooler because then they have to do the, you have to find like the perfect program for you and your partner. And then they both have to, it's, it's just magic where it all works out. It's oh, so great. You know what? I got to tweet this out. Hold on. Um, uh, here, congratulate this next person. Mm-hmm. You get started. Um, oh, here it is. Aaron Azos. Congratulations. Let's see. You're at Vanderbilt, but you matched in internal medicine at all of you UCLA. That was your number one choice. Woohoo! Woohoo! Congratulations. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Right. Yay. That's what it's always nice for anybody who's watching who didn't go through the match or isn't familiar with it. You rank all of your programs where you want to go. And obviously you're hoping for the one at the top of your list, but that program has to also rank you somewhere in their top. Right. Depending on how many residents they have. For right. us, it's eight, which we filled this year, by the way. Nice. Marsh University Family Medicine filled all of our spots. We were, who wouldn't come want to come back with you? Mm. but we did we've got a great incoming class of interns very excited about that um let me do one eric okay rossler rush university internal medicine congratulations hey. eric uh i am as they call it i or am i'm med i med it's for everything that's internal not the external stuff you'll never learn anything about skin people will be like i have a skin thing and you'll be like I can't help you. That's not true, by the way. Internal medicine, it's like I, it's sort of like family medicine, what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Internal medicine focuses more on adults, and then you can also do a lot more subspecialties from internal medicine than we do from family medicine. We have some, but not quite as many. Uh, let's see. We got some more match day results from Tyler Kennedy. Uh, and Tyler matched into pediatrics at Vanderbilt. Ooh, that's Tyler's number, number one. one. Congratulations. And look, uh, Tyler has a best friend that matched into pediatrics today at Nationwide Children's in Columbus. Emily Hargrave, congratulations. They both go to the University that's of fantastic. Arizona College of Medicine, Tucson. More wonderful pediatricians. We love that. Woo-hoo. Congratulations. Columbus isn't far either. That's true. Columbus, mm-hmm. Charlie and uh, Huntington will tell you the good places to eat. Because <laughs> there aren't any in Columbus. Columbus has, okay, let's talk about Columbus. First, COSI, the Center of Science and Industry. 
if you haven't been with kids once it's open again, I assume uh, good good visit. Also, Columbus is notable for being the home of the first, very first in the nation. I don't remember what fast we're food to. chain got started in Columbus. The first one is there. McDonald's? No, that's in Indiana. Wendy's? Yes, Dave Thomas opened the first Wendy's what in that? Columbus. I don't know. Vander- As everyone knows, Vanderbilt is in Nash. Listen, I'm talking about Columbus, and I'm saying that uh, Dave Thomas first Wendy's. It's right well, there. Now, now we've just said it. Isn't no, it I know the first Wendy's is in. No, Columbus I was talking anymore. about where Vanderbilt. I don't is. think it's open anymore. I think the first Wendy's. I think Vanderbilt is definitely open. Well, it might not be open at the moment, but like no, but first. Yeah, Wendy's. it is in Nashville. Okay. See, that was right. Uh, Nashville's nice. great. That's what I was going to say. We went to Nashville's Nashville. fun. Nashville for the really fun. first time I'd ever been there. Was that last year? Yeah, I think, I think so. it was last year. It was fun. It was a wonderful place. Um, You'll have a blast. Here, do you do one, Sid? Uh, Hannah Sudrath has written us uh, to say that she has matched at the University of South Florida Tampa in internal medicine. Yay, Hannah! Woo-hoo, Hannah! I am. I am like um, one of my fellow primary care. On the, yeah. Right there on the front yeah. lines. Specialties. Love to hear that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, Blake Arthur's fiance just matched. Her name is Leah. She's from uh, Wayne Lee. State Medical School in Detroit. Mm-hmm. She's matched into OB Gyne at Beaumont Royal Oak. I don't know where that is, but it sounds fancy. It does. It sounds like a mm-hmm. hospital or a golf course. <laughs> Doesn't it? It does. Sounds fancy. I bet it's not. Obi Gyn is so great. It's been such a rewarding specialty mm-hmm. to go into. I, uh, when I first started practicing, I did family medicine with OB, which you which you can do. Um, I eventually phase that out just because it's it's hard. It's a demanding lifestyle. Yeah. And I babies can come whenever they please. They do, but it's so rewarding. Uh, Nick Hill Nadler. Uh, goes to Northeast Ohio Medical University and matched at Loyola for anesthesiology. Ooh, Very competitive. Hey, Look big at one. you. Look at those, those big bucks. Uh-huh. I know what's up. Send us some of that anesthesiology <laughs> cash. Love Congratulations. It. That's that's great. That's a competitive, you know, that's one of the more competitive specialties. Makes some serious gosh at that, right? You get paid. Yeah, yeah you can, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And all your patients are asleep. So that's, that's choice. That's <laughs> choice. I'm certain that it's not the reason. I mean, that's a, that's a plus. It. The point into it. Um, you just have a passion for putting people to sleep. Uh, we got one on behalf of Noah, who matched in a general surgery at UICOM Chicago, which is the University of Illinois College of Medicine, Chicago. Love uh, Chicago. Love Chicago. Great town. Noah. Mary, that is fantastic. We love to go to Chicago. Someday we'll go again when we're allowed to mm. leave our house. Yeah. Um, we will come back. It's one of my favorite places uh, because there was, there was the deck was stacked against the city being able to exist in that location so yes. many times. And Chicago just said, screw that. Yep. I'm sure they'll do it. Yeah. They'll we'll do it again. the city up. We'll reverse the flow of a river, whatever it takes. Y'all in chat, by the way, who are just sitting in chat, telling everybody congrats. You're so cool. I I love y'all. That's nice. Um, Okay. We uh, thank you for doing this match today party. You're very welcome. My fiance and I, uh, I said fiance in a weird way. I just said it in fiance. Uh, I successfully (laughs) couples match today. Both of us are going into family medicine at the University of California, Irvine. I love to hear that. Thank you. I love fellow family docs. Yep. It's wonderful. You get to. It's it's great if you like variety, if you like a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah. I never get bored. I never know what's coming in next. And I get to take care of my patients a whole lot. It's wonderful. As you all, often say, much to my chagrin, cradle to grave. <laughs> Always delightful. People don't like that. They don't I like found. that. I found. Hmm. I'm an, doctors I, don't have a good sense for that. If you haven't learned it yet in medical school, you'll get there. Uh, Isabella is an M4 that matched today. Uh, 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 pathology. Ooh. What is that? That's like, you know, and they look at stuff under microscopes and oh, cool. like tissues and Nicely things done. and tell us what it is. And- 
Um, this is the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. I wish it was the hospital of the University of the state of Pennsylvania. That would be, I, I love all those prepositions. Congratulations. That. That's fantastic. Path is, path is always where we're, that they save us so many times because we're like, I have no idea what's going on. Wait for the pathology. Yeah. Pathology, They'll, save us. I'll figure They'll it give out. us the answer. And it's so hard. I, I remember that was always so challenging in med school, looking at all the like tissue slides and everything and just going like, I don't know, it's all pink and purple. <laughs> Everybody has to remember doctors are smart. It's a very narrow, so like a very narrow little sliver. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sid has a friend in I'm a doctor kidding. at hospital whose favorite television show is Perfect Strangers. Still. <laughs> Don't worry. She's not watching. She would not know how to watch a lot. Not in a million years. <laughs> Favorite TV show? I could give you her social security movie? number. What's her favorite movie? Pretty Woman. Always has been. I mean, it's, that's like a class. That's like a classic choice, though. I. It may be the last movie she's seen. Uh, okay. I'm not joking. Uh, I love her. Molly love Lee her. mashed into internal medicine at Indiana University. Uh, that's Molly's top choice. Leaving Savannah, Georgia. That's too bad. Yeah, that, that is. That's that is a bad, great though. place, right near Tybee Island. You got your top choice. Uh, and uh, say they have a rowdy match day with a costume and a theme. This year's blast to the past, so they uh, uh, Just dress as beanie babies. babies. That's too cute. You know Aww. what? I think I can let me see if I can figure out how to show you all. I don't know if this is working or not, but well, I don't, I don't know how to. Oh man, I'm never gonna oh, be able yeah. to figure this out. Um, if you, you can't just turn the computer, yeah, I can, but like, all my all my tabs are open, and that's so embarrassing. People see if I've updated or not and what all my bookmarks are. It's like too much. Anyway, this is their beanie baby picture. It's Yay, very it's very adorable. cute. I'm glad you're still celebrating. I don't have any I don't have any embarrassing bookmarks. I don't care. You saw a glimpse. That's fine. Um let's see. They're very cute. Uh, that's I, adorable. That's adorable. Okay. Uh do, 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 do. Rebecca DiCarlo. Uh First female neurosurgery resident at Carolina's Medical Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. Rebecca, that's fantastic. Rebecca. That's awesome. Congratulations, Rebecca. That's wonderful. That is that is wonderful to get into that specialty because it really is. It has historically been a kind of a male dominated specialty. I can't think of any female neurosurgeons I've ever worked with. Well, Rebecca's wonderful, out there. Rebecca. That's awesome. Breaking those glass ceilings. Joseph is uh, just got matched into anesthesiology at the Mayo Clinic. Ooh. Get that money. That's fancy. Too. Fancy. Very competitive. Very fancy. That's awesome. Very it's, elegant match. Ooh. Oh, it's elegant. Like very you. elegant match. This is what this is the kind of thing he'll be wearing to work. Do you want to know something? I got like this your fancy blazer. I got this um, jacket at, uh, on discount at Joseph A. Banks. Because I was getting, fancy. because I was getting measured, I, I had to go in to get measurements for a project that has since been canceled, and I felt so guilty about the, having them do my measurements for free that I got a deeply discounted jacket, and I had them um, do the alterations on it because uh, you know Mr. Tumnus was a little bit too big for the jacket, and they did the alterations on it. And they called me like three days ago, and they're like, "Your jacket's done." I'm like, ah, oh, cool. I will be right down. They said that we're open from 10 to noon and you have to call and we'll come out and leave your garment on a thing and then unlock the door so you can take it out. And <laughs> anyway, I didn't think I'd have an opportunity to wear it, but here we are at this very elegant event. Mm -hmm. Castle and everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Who's next? My name is Matthew Lau. Oh, no. pleased to meet you, Matthew. No, I'm just I'm sorry. I'm reading the email. That's Matthew. Got it. Email. In yes. the computer. Right, in the computer. He's a fourth-year medical student at the Medical College of Georgia at Augusta University. I just matched into pathology at the University of Utah. That's Congratulations, Matthew. Matthew. Great job. Proud of you. Yeah. That's wonderful. You can interpret all the pinks and purples for me. Uh, this is one for Kathleen. Uh, match into family medicine at Kathleen's number one choice, the University of Yay. Michigan. Thank you for joining me. And my, I believe is the best specialty, but me I'm too. Bias because I went into it. Yeah, they're all great. 
they're all wonderful. You just gotta find the one. It's about finding the perfect match for you. Well, it's match day. I yes. don't you know what I mean. Yeah. Like your perfect specialty for you. Now Kathleen knows it's family medicine. Pat, Kathleen us. got the call. Um uh Victoria matched into clinical pharmacy, uh the clinical pharmacy residency at Iowa Methodist in Des Moines and is very excited. Uh, congratulations, Victoria. That is wonderful. That's fantastic. Victoria, we don't sing the praises of our pharmacists enough. You, I can't tell you how many times uh, our clinical pharmacist in the hospital that works with our team has saved us and helped us out. And uh, in our home with the pharmacy, uh, the Marshall Pharmacy. Our pharmacy at Marshall, our local, our lo that's affiliated. We have a school pharmacy here, and in, in the and they're affiliated with our med school and everything. And they are making. Uh, hand sanitizer and they made specially a bunch of batches of hand sanitizer because we're all out in the area to bring to Harmony House which is a day shelter uh, at which I volunteer medical care for um, people facing homelessness and they made a bunch of it because the director of the Harmony House a wonderful woman Amanda Coleman was trying to get some for the staff there uh, and there was none and they just made up a ton of batches of homemade hand sanitizer and dropped them off that was Fantastic. Very, very cool. I know. It was thrilling. Sid won't let me make her, my own hand sanitizer just because I won't look up a recipe or buy the right ingredients. I just feel like if you put enough Dawn in there, it'll work out. That's not what that's not what it is. Just why if you don't just wash your hands. Lucas Bolliard is a student at Marshall. Hey. Hello. And uh headed to Penn State in Hershey, Pennsylvania, home of uh Hershey Park. Mm -hmm. Where you can and all the chocolate, all the chocolate you can eat for free. <laughs> I don't they just send that. mail it to you, Lucas. That's not true. Every resident there not, gets all the chocolate I'm they sure can that's eat not for accurate. free. <laughs> In anesthesiology, woohoo! And there's just oh, shout out, shout Lucas out. This is a shout out. Lucas has a shout out for uh, his wife Katie and other family and friends who helped drag me this far. You know, when we were at your graduation, they had mm -hmm. a speaker and they said that um, you love this. They like to say that uh, when they got their MD, I got the M and my wife got the D because we did it together. Mm -hmm. And I like to think of it that way. Doctors, Justin and Sidney McElroy, because my support uh, through thick and through thin uh, was really the guiding force that got you through it. And I helped you study so many times. I feel like. Base, Did you help me? Basically. When were you helping me? We drew, well, well, I, would I examined hear, you. Yeah, I got I a lot did. of free exams. I did a, a, lot of, a lot of practice exams. I trailed you on like flashcards and stuff That's until true. they got too hard That's for true. me to even read. That's true. <laughs> Lucas, congratulations. That's wonderful. Congratulations, well, we Lucas. sorry to see you leaving Marshall, but I understand we don't have an anesthesiology residency. So Emily is very excited. <laughs> no. I matched in family medicine. Woo! To Lutheran General Hospital in Park Ridge. Okay, we lost our rhythm a little bit, but still the all caps and exclamation points. I'm going to be an abortion provider, and it's going to be amazing. That's I can't fantastic. stop smiling. Uh, Emily. Congratulations, Emily. I'm so glad uh, that you are thrilled about your choice. Thank you. That's uh, wonderful. Another yeah. fellow family physician. Welcome aboard. Budding family physician. Uh, Kimber says, my brother is too shy to write in. But he was just matched as top choice. So proud of him. His name is Ben, and he matched at UPMC St. Margaret's in Pittsburgh, Aww, Pennsylvania. Ben. ben, so proud of That's you. That's great. And a family, the follow-up email. Oh, in family. Ben, yes. another family doctor. Join in the fold. Welcome. Welcome uh, to the family family. They they always, they used to. Did you hear that? The family family. Just a little something. You can um, use that if you want. They, they used to say. What's the saying? <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this is good content. Everybody keep it locked <laughs> this to this can choice edit stream. A podcast. Can't edit a stream. It's long days, guys. We're getting up really early and yeah. it's very stressful. I'm trying to retweet this still. Okay. Maybe Sarah already retweeted it. Um, okay. Are you, are you just going <laughs> to? It'll, I'm, it'll well, come I to you. I can't think of it. It'll come to you. Uh, Mark said, this is such a nice idea. Thank you. You're welcome, Mark. Uh, I'm matching tomorrow into a transitional year internship at Bassett Medical Center in Cooperstown, New York, home of the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame. I was going to say baseball something. I knew there was a baseball there. 
And I also <laughs> early matched in January in the ophthalmology residency at oh. Dartmouth. What does all that mean? That he early matched? Transitional year internship. Oh, then, oh transitional year. Uh, so before some medical specialties, mm -hmm. you do a year of like, it's basically sort of an internal medicine. It's an internal medicine year. Um, it's like a general medicine year in, in which you'll rotate through a number of different kind of things mm -hmm. for one year before you actually go into your subspecialty. Okay. So, yeah. Got it. Um, year or transitional year. Um, you can do that in surgery too, but Alex that says, my medicine. wonderful fiance Priyanka is a fourth year medical student is matching into her pediatric residency program. Uh, um, um, Where's she going? Where's she going? Where's Bianca going? Oh, this was sent a little while ago. Okay. Oh. Okay. That is all of our, our current ones. Well, Priyanka, I hope uh, we don't know where you went, but I hope it went well. Oh, look, we've got a new one since then. Yes, I know. We've got we've got a few more. Uh, let me make sure we didn't get a follow up from Alex. No, no. we did not. But congratulations, Priyanka. It's, it's a huge went, achievement. It's wonderful pediatrics. Um, Fantastic. Olivia is very proud of her friend Becca. She matched in the triple board program oh at the University of Pittsburgh for psychiatry, child psychiatry slash pediatrics, her first choice. Wow. Triple, triple board. board. That's rough. I That's don't know great. what it means, and that sounds impressive. Well, you're, I mean, to be boarded in any one specialty, it's not, I mean, like, you've got to train in it, of course, you've got to pass an exam in it, but you also have to maintain that certification by mm. doing all kinds of CME and all these activities to prove that, like, you still know it, you know what you're doing, and you're keeping up to date and all this stuff. And that's challenging. It's challenging to be able to, basically, you're saying, like, I am certified to do all three of these things instead of just one. So that's uh, awesome. Adam matched emergency medicine and is headed to Searcy, Arkansas. Fantastic. Emergency medicine is great. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like right then. I you never know. It. I thought about it. TV tells us that's yeah, where all that's the sexy people it. are. Yeah. <laughs> that's what TV says. All the sexy people are in that one. That's, I will say among the, the – you'll find that there are like stereotypes to all the different specialties and like, mm -hmm. like most stereotypes, they're not often true, but if you'll like this one, ER docs are seen as kind of like cool. ER doctors are cool. They're cooler than family doctors are considered. We're usually like the all shucks. No, nah, more like hippies. Okay. That was what the comment I always got, like, you all are singing Kumbaya over there in family medicine. I've never sung Kumbaya. But I Ever. think I think I probably am the kind of person who would be fine with singing Kumbaya, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Sarah wrote in to say that her boyfriend Rakesh matched into an eternal medicine program at Mill Creek Community Hospital in Erie, Pennsylvania, Yay. hoping to do a sports Ooh, medicine okay. fellowship, fellowship afterward. Uh, I'm so proud of him. Hey, well, we got a sports medicine fellowship. At our family medicine department at Marshall, just saying. Just saying. If you're looking for something in the future. We'll tell you where all the good restaurants are. If you come this way. <laughs> you also get to work with the Marshall football team. Sarah, go Herd. Go Herd. Uh, Sarah matched pediatrics at NYU Winthrop. Yay. Uh, and Hunter Hewitt loves the McElroy shows. Thank you, Hunter. Matched at neurology at Vanderbilt. Which Ooh, la, recently la. Found found in, in Nashville. Nashville. Yeah. The, the, the findings are in. Vanderbilt is in Nashville. We all Congratulations. agree. That's wonderful. About that. New York. New York City. Center of the universe. I can't say the next part. It's got a curse in it. Yeah. But we could recite all of rent for you later if you would like. <laughs> we'll do a different stream. I assume stream. that's why you want to go. A no cursing there rent. Is rent. Times are crummy, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. Let's see, I messed up the rhyme. Uh, <laughs> my name is Melissa, and I matched at the Medical College of Georgia in general surgery. Yay, Melissa, good luck. Again, I, I know general surgery. We do. We just do a month in family medicine because in family medicine, you rotate through a lot of different stuff. And we only do a month of gen general surgery. Uh, and it was one of the toughest months of my life, but I learned so much. And there's so much, there was so much camaraderie because it is hard work, but everybody's in it together. And uh, I really liked that. And um, it's, a, it's a wonderful road. It's a hard road, but it's worth it. And it's wonderful at the end. Congratulations. Uh, Sarah asked if we could, this isn't technically a match day, but 
uh, her brother-in-law, Dan, is uh, asked us wish Dan oh. luck. He's at the end of his residency, and since he had a kidney transplant, he may just have to put that and the job he just matched at on hold for a year. So, Dan, uh, our thoughts are with you. Yeah, um, about you, Dan. Hang in there, Dan. Uh, let's see. Debbie. It's okay to take a break. You'll get there. Debbie got to celebrate match at Memorial Hospital in Indiana in family medicine. Yay. Uh, Debbie, not, Debbie's non-medical husband and I are thrilled. Debbie, I'm sure he would be delighted to hear himself described as your non-medical husband. I'm sure he has many other great qualities and talents and gifts that people sometimes forget about in their rush to well, congratulate you on just, your medical uh, prowess. He can just know that he's in good company with my non-medical At husband. this point, I've done a medical podcast for several years now. You're still non-medical. That's often how I, I introduce us. Hi, my name is Dr. Sydney McElroy, and this is my non-medical husband. <laughs> Can we start really? that on the show? I'm loving that joke. Really loving that joke. Well, I mean, I'm non... What am I? Non... Non... You do all the stuff I do. <laughs> Whatever. I don't play video games. Whoop de do. I'm non gaming. This is my non gaming wife. Anti gaming, more like. I'm, oh, I'm not anti gaming. I just don't. It's just not my thing. Uh, okay. I have nothing against video games. Those are all the ones that were sent us. Um, so thank you to everyone that, that sent it? those Did in. Did you get them all? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I may be non medical, but I am uh, not. You are very good at email. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm not. I'm not non competent. Um, so, uh, do you have, um, so that is that yeah, I, I think yeah. we got, got all of them. Um, okay. Just folks, sure. thank you, sure. uh, for sending those in. Congratulations to everyone. Um, I know it's kind of crummy to not get, um, you know, the recognition you so richly deserve after years and years and years of, uh, hard work, but I know, I to know. You, salute. It, and it's such a, it's a huge accomplishment and that it, it, that can't be taken away from you. You've worked no. so hard. That's true. And, you know, hopefully by the time July 1st rolls around, our wow. world will be a little calmer. Things will be a little more back to normal. God willing and the creek don't rise. Um, but know that, you know, if nothing else, I know that we're you're missing out on your ceremonies and your parties today, and that's a huge bummer because you totally deserve them. But uh, we need you now more than ever you know mm -hmm. the the direction you're headed is is one that is so important and um we need you to be able to do all that hard work all the hard work you've already done in medical school and to continue into residency um it's necessary and we need more of you and we need more caring warm loving people who are able to like sacrifice and give of themselves and um be brave and strong when you don't feel like it what Raffi's making fun of me. He said, Justin fucking making a meal out of that glass of wine out in the open like an animal. It's very, very crass. I'm just enjoying a nice glass of wine. <laughs> you really That's got a, your number there. You really you? got my number. Wow. I'm going to stop reading the chat now. We've got a lot of uh, Randy, um, Randy customers in there. And don't, I would feel like, I think, if I had just matched into a medical specialty and I was thinking about starting residency July 1st in this current climate, it would be a little bit intimidating or scary. Um, but please don't be more than any, I mean, I think we're all a little scared. That's normal, but, but don't be it. I'm a lot so of scared. heartening to go even to going to work right now is scary. It's so heartening to go and see all of my colleagues who and, and the residents I work with. I mean, most of the time I'm working with residents. Um, I get to see my my fellow attending some, but but that's my day to day is largely working with our resident team. And it's so rewarding to see they're so dedicated. There is not a one that would. I mean, even though I know they're scared, they wouldn't consider not coming because this is what they they. I think a lot of them would say they were born to do. This is what they are supposed to be doing, and they care so much about the patients and so much about each other and about looking out for everybody about about our community in general and on a larger level like looking out for public health state and safety and it's a wonderful team to be on it's so i mean it, i i can't tell you how much strength 
the residents that I work with like give me to see to see the good they do and how unflinching they are in the, in their dedication. So yeah, so and joining a wonderful team. To my fellow podcasters, I would <laughs> like to say, please stay calm, stay brave, disinfect your microphone, and remember that history may not remember if the true heroes were podcasters or doctors, but we were all in it together. And I think that's the important thing. Don't you agree, Sid? Yeah, yeah. That, you know what? It's fine. We all <laughs> we all have value. We all have a place. We all have a job to do. Yes. Uh, so hang in there, everybody. Yeah. Uh, and congratulations. Congratulations. It's really it's a it's a wonderful day. It's it's still a wonderful day, even if your even if your celebration is at home, watching our live stream. <laughs> um, have a drink of whatever you prefer. It doesn't have to be wine. It could be, you know, a soda this late, caffeine. Careful, not too scandalous. Do you want to sing sing the the match day song that you guys always do? The match day song? You guys always do that match. The the doctors say match day. You're a fine day. What a good day you will be. Such a fine day. Match day. Match day. We always sing that message. I'm sorry.